All parties in the matter of Peyton versus Drake. Step forward. 24-year-old Lenise Padian is suing former classmate, 23-year-old Jerlisha Drake, for the money she paid for a 2003 Chevy Impala. All right, th this is a car sale drama, and I'm going to try to put it in perspective and give you a rapid adjudication. You bought a car from Miss Drake. Correct. What kind of car was it, and when did you make the purchase? It was an 03 Chevy Impala. And Slowly. Okay. It was a? Uh, 2003 Chevy Impala. I brought it from her on November 11th. I'm, I'm sorry, October 11th. Of last year? Yes, correct, 2017. And you paid her $750 for the car? Yes. So far, is that correct? Yes. And at the time you purchased the car, she did not have the title to give you? Correct. How long had you owned the car? Like six or seven months. Did you get the title for the car? Yes. Did you register it in your name? Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go slowly, because the questions are going to get more difficult. OK. Did you register the car in your name? Yes, I did. Great. And got license plates for it? Yes. And at some point, you got a warrant? Yes. Issued for your arrest? Yes. And when was that? That was December of 2017. I don't know exact date. But at that time, she had the car. Yes. And based upon, she's driving the car down the road, mm -hmm. and the police pull the car over. Mm -hmm. And the police pull the car over because they think it's you. Yes. That's not what you say in your answer. You say she had outstanding warrants, so they pulled the car over. Well, that's not true, mm -hmm. because they didn't know anything about her when they pulled the car over. They pulled the car over because you had an outstanding warrant that was attached to the license plates on your car that she could not have registered because you did not give her the title, right? Yes, that's correct. Perfect. And then the car was impounded. And it was impounded because you also had an outstanding warrant. Correct. <laughs> this is not even what funny. What was your outstanding warrant for? Traffic violations. And what was your outstanding warrant for? Uh, driving under a suspended license. So you weren't supposed to be driving at all? Correct. So you couldn't have registered the car anyway? Correct. Who has the car now? She has the car. You... I don't have the car. Bird, do you have the car? <laughs> <laughs> You got the car? Well, oh, I don't know who Your I Honor, um, <laughs> when I went to get the car, when she got the car out of impound, I went to pick the car up, but the car was out of commission. I could not drive the vehicle. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> this is coming to a place where I don't care. Got it? OK. Because you couldn't buy a car. You weren't supposed to be driving a car in October. And you got pulled over in what month? December. So you drove the car for a month? Yes. Without a license? Correct. What do you want me to do? You both did the wrong thing. You think that courts are here to waste their time on two people that did the wrong thing? We're not. Just my own curiosity. You don't know where the car is? Yeah, the car is on Erie Street. When Once I got out of jail, I gave her the keys to the car, so I didn't get the driver Why anything. did you give her the keys to the car? She paid for it, so at that point, that it was her car. I gave it back. Your Honor, I did not get the car back when she got I don't got care it whether you got the car back or not. She had the car for a month? Yes. Okay, I want you to consider that you rented the car for a month for $350, which is what I think that I'm gonna do. Even though you did the absolute wrong thing, I don't think that she should benefit from that because she was in the wrong as well. So I think you both have to hurt a little bit. I have no idea where this car is. If it's not drivable, is that what you're telling me? Yes. Um... Perfect, well, you shouldn't be driving it anyway. $350. Your Honor. That's what it costs you to drive the car for a month. We're done. Thank you.